Okay, so here's the plan I've drawn up for the table and uh, drew this up on the AutoCAD software. It helped me work out the lengths of the timber I needed so I could pretty much just buy exactly what I needed. And uh, so there it is. Yeah, I've spent the morning putting it together. It's come together pretty well. It's a little bit smaller than what I thought it was going to be, but that's good. It's nice and light. It's got the hole. You can see the hole in the center cut out. And uh, now I've just got to cut up the plywood to uh, shape. So I've got a little plan here. So here's a sheet of uh, 1200 by 2400 plywood and this should allow me to cut three sections out of it for the table so minimal cuts makes it nice and easy okay so I've cut out all the pieces of plywood top I'm using a, a 7 mil thick ply it's pretty thin but it keeps the table lightweight the frame gaps are quite quite close together so the 7 mil will span quite easily Still give me uh, quite a lot of rigidity there. And here's the last piece. Might have to tweak some of these little gaps. If they don't line up the gaps properly, I'll just fill them up with some uh, wood putty. And then I'll get some PVA glue and we'll glue down, we'll glue down the plywood top and we'll nail it every say 200 mil. Alright so that's pretty much the table done. Okay so I've got the plywood down now and I uh, PVA glued and nailed the plywood down. Now the gaps between the plywood I could have used a I could have used a wooden bog, a uh, wooden putty, but um, that dries very uh, rigid and hard and when I move the table around it's going to flex a bit and I think that's just going to crack and make it fall out. So I'm using this uh, acrylic gap sealer instead. This is uh, flexible and it should work a lot better over the long run. So I'll fill that up. I'll let it dry for a day. Yes, yeah, so I'll just let this dry and then I'll come back after this is dried and sand the whole top try and get it nice and smooth and that will be the end of the bench work so thanks for watching this video and uh, look out for the next ones